what is up guys it is your boy i'm here to bring you another video today today guys going to be doing a reroll guide on grand summoners just going to be pertaining to the global version and rooted devices not only root devices but i will also be covering ios and android if you don't have a root device so don't worry about that if you are wondering how to reroll on those devices i will tell you but i'm pretty much going to show you exactly what to do as soon as you start the game and how to reroll the best way possible so let me just say this by far before we even get into this definitely the best way to go about rerolling is through emulator either Nox or LD player, uh, blue stacks, whatever you want to choose, whatever you can choose that has a root enabled into it, or you can root the emulator, that is your best bet for re-rolling so, because it eliminates so much time. So we're just going to go on ahead and get right into this. I'm just going to name this uh, re-roll guide. There we go. Oh wait, max and 10 characters, whoops. There, re-rule. Re <laughs> okay, so as soon as we start up the game, we're instantly going to have to do a data download. And this is the part that really sucks for people that aren't on a rude device because you have to do this every single time. There's no way getting around this if you are not on a rude device because with a rude device, you will be able to instantly delete your account without having to delete the app. I will show you that in just a second, but like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to do this from the very start. So I'll be right back once this is done downloading. Okay, so as soon as you get done with the data download, as soon as you very first download the game, you want to click skip tutorial. If you have never played this game, however, I would recommend, you know, canceling and actually going through the tutorial. But if you have played Grand Summoners, you already know what to do and all that stuff, then click skip tutorial. So after you skip the tutorial, it's going to pop up Iris and Ganon. Well, actually not Iris and Ganon. You're going to pick the Blade Master. Best Blade Master to pick will be Corsair. Now, I want to say this real quick, is that if you're re-rolling around the time when Norn or earth mirror or a unit that requires the gondola or i said the gondola the earth giant boss that is extremely difficult that requires burning i recommend picking up clyde instead so you have a burn unit to fight him but if not corsair by far all the way um and yeah earth is here just to be here but definitely corsair all the way unless you're rolling for a unit that requires the earth giant boss if you guys know what i'm talking about the raging ivy uh, plant, uh, the Raging Ivy Plant, is that what it's called? Something like that, I can't remember the exact name of it, but that boss. So, right here we're gonna click Corsair, cause I'm not re-rolling for any Earth type units like Finn or Norn or Earth Mail or whatever the case may be, you know, I'm not re-rolling for any of those units, so I don't need that, uh, I don't need Clyde, so I don't need to burn on my team. So you can see right here, we're gonna have this, we're gonna have Iris and Ganon pop up, we're gonna click skip on this, and then instantly we're gonna be greeted with this right here, 11 hero summons for free. And then also currently, depending on what's happening right now, uh, we also have a summoning lottery. This doesn't matter at all. So this will just give you whatever, you know, 100, 10, 30, 20, whatever the case may be. And you're going to have the four star equipment, redeem ticket and all this stuff. Now, let me just say this. I do have a video on this on who you should choose for your unit of choice ticket. If you are new to the game, I recommend looking at that because that would definitely help you out a lot if you are re-rolling around this time during the first anniversary. Now, you see right here, we're going to get all this good stuff right here, weekly sign-in bonus, crystals, all this other stuff. Now, right here, you're going to see is that we're going to get some rewards and everything. We're going to click close, and what we're going to do is we're instantly going to open the gift box, and we're going to click claim all. We're going to do this a few times. We're going to click claim all. Uh... All the way to we have nothing left in our gift box so we have a total of 107 crystals um, that we can use to summon with now of course this may be different for what whenever you're summoning but hey you know this is how we do it so we're gonna go to summon now I want to say this whatever banner you are planning on re-rolling on do not do the daily summons okay so for example uh, and whenever you get greeted right here, it will say do the daily summon or do you want to do the daily summon? You're going to click no on that because the reason for that is because the first single summon you ever do on any banner um, with well, the very first single summon, let me say, yeah, very first single summon on any banner. This only applies to the first single summon, though, that you do on this account will be a guaranteed five star. So what would I want to do? So let's say, for example, I'm re-rolling for Sunny. Okay, I'm re-rolling for Sunny. Sunny is the unit I want. That's who I'm re-rolling for. So what would I do in my re-roll process? Well, first, I would click Hero Summon, five crystals, not the 50, not the 50. You want to do the five crystal Hero Summon because like I said, this is guaranteed five star. This could be any five star on this banner. So you could get lucky and you could instantly get Sunny or whoever you're re-rolling for from this banner. So 
always do your first single on the banner you want to re-roll on and then do the multi-summon. If you do the multi-summon before the single, you won't be able to get the guaranteed five star. So keep that in mind from the single summon. So right here, we're going to do the single summon right here. This will be guaranteed five star, like I said. Um, so don't have to worry about anything. It will be guaranteed even if we don't get the animations to show that we got a guaranteed five star, but we do. We sh Ganon shows up and slices with us. And you can see the unit we get right here is actually who we get. Valhalla. So there we go. We got a five star. It wasn't the five star we wanted. So what are we going to do now? Now we do the multi summon. Now, of course, this is kind of the most tedious part because you're going to have to watch every single unit. Um, like, what is it? Art pop up because you haven't got them like in your index yet. So you got to get they're all brand new units to you. So you got to watch all these animations, which kind of sucks. So you see right here, we only got one five star. Okay, so you see, we're gonna have to watch all this stuff. So we're just gonna spam click or it's spam tap so we only get the art to pop up and not like the crystals. So we don't waste any time possible. So you see right here, we're gonna keep going and it's gonna take a long time. It's probably the longest process that you have to go through for this event or for this. So you see right there. We got Zen on. Trash reroll, garbage. We don't want this reroll, okay? So let me just say this real quick is that if you are rerolling on the banner and you are brand new to the game, you don't know who to reroll for, always reroll on Hero Fest. Never reroll on Hi Rookie's Rock or anything like that. Always reroll on Hero Fest if you are new to the game and you don't know anything about any unit. Of course, you can always join my Discord down below in the description and you can always ask in there, like, hey, I'm brand new to the game. I'm rerolling. Who should I get and all this stuff? If you aren't uh, if you aren't for sure who you should get at the current moment or who you should be going for. Now you see right there, we got a trash reroll. So we don't want this account at all. Um, so what we're gonna do is well actually before we do that Let's say you actually got the reroll you wanted So what you would do is I would say after that, you know name it rename your account to whatever you want it to be um, If you got the reroll you wanted to and then after that I would probably link it to Facebook um, It's just to make sure that your account never gets like just you know lost or anything like that. So if that is it, if you do not want this account, let's say you got the trash rerolls like we did, we do not want this account. So what we do, so if you are on Android, let me show you what you will do real quick. If you are on Android, what you'll do is, well, you'll close this. Uh, this may look extremely weird to you, but what we're going to do is, so it won't look too weird, is we're going to actually just do a display capture. This would probably be best. Okay, so... If you are on Android, what you will do is you will hold down or... Yeah, you will hold down on the icon and you will go into the eye icon over here or you will click at details. It should pop up under it or whatever the case may be, but you will hold down, you click app details and you'll click clear data. If you are on Android and you do not have a root devices, that will be what you do and you restart, you have to download it again, which really sucks, but you will be able to reroll like that. Now, if you are on Apple um, or iOS, let me say, the way how you do it with that is you completely delete the app, completely uninstall the app and then re-download the app and that is how how you do it on iOS. Now, if you have a rooted device like an emulator or your phone is rooted or whatever the case may be, I don't know, your iPod is rooted, I'm not for sure. Um, the way how you do it is make sure that you have the root enabled on the emulator. So make sure that root is enabled. So how you do that. So for example, I'm using LD player. I'm not using Knox at the moment. Um, this still works the exact same way though. You click settings, you go into basic or whatever it is on Knox. It should be the very first page. I'm pretty sure on Knox and you'll see root permission. You want to make sure that is enabled. So after that, what you're going to want to do is if you don't have it downloaded already, go to Google play store and download ES file explorer. If you don't have it downloaded, make sure to go download it from the Google play store. I'm pretty sure Knox comes with it. LD player does not though. So if you have it downloaded, what you're going to do is make sure the root is enabled. If you have to restart the emulator before you do it. So you're going to click ES file explorer. After this, you're going to let this load and it's probably going to pop up this thing. Like, do you enable super user access or something like that? You're going to want to click yes on that. That will allow you to go into the internal storage of your device. So you see right here, ES File Explorer is requesting super user access. So you click allow and this will allow you to have super user access. So what this allows you to do is allows you to delete your account specifically and not have to go through and download the game again or download all the data from the game um, 
so you wait you pretty much cut time like in half pretty much or even more than that to be honest so you would be able to reroll a lot quicker so how you do this is you go into internal storage you click this little slash right here you see this little slash right here you click that and then you go into data data you search up grand summoners so type in grand summoners or just type in grand and it should pop up whoops it actually went away g r a and d okay so once you do this you're going to click grand summoners global you see right here you click that and you should see this thing called shared preferences now in shared preferences you're looking for a file named coco so you see right here we have coco 2d x prefs file what this is this is your account file so what you do is you hold on this and then you click delete down here or whatever or wherever it is on your screen but you hold down on that and it should pop up like delete cut copy rename whatever the case may be you delete this and you see you delete it boom it's gone now what did that do that deleted our account on grand summoners so now that account is gone now what happens now well let's show you so you should we start it up right here once this loads let me close this now so once this loads um you'll see that our account is gone so right here downloading data it would go instantly to 100 because you don't have to download anything again so unfolding data and you'll see boom right here it's going to pop up uh terms of service we need to make sure to accept that and all that stuff and then we're going to be right back into it now literally it's the exact same thing so just make a different name or the case may be so right here and then you're going to click ok and then you're going to click skip tutorial boom you don't even have to download it and you're right back into the game that is how you reroll in grand summoners that is the best way to do it now unfortunately this way does not work with the japanese version of grand summoners for japanese version of grand summoners you actually have to delete the entire app or if you're on android clear the data from your storage before you can actually use this with um JP Grand Summoners. You cannot delete your account in great in JP Grand Summoners like you can on Global using ES File Explorer. It doesn't work. So yeah, or it may work, but so far from what I saw, it doesn't work at all. Apart from that though, guys, that is gonna be it for the video. If you guys have any questions about re-rolling, of course, you guys can always come into my Discord and ask in there. You guys can also ask in the comment section below. I try to be as active as I can on YouTube, even though it's kind of hard at times. Apart from that though, guys. Thank you all for coming out, man. I love y'all. Hopefully, you guys enjoy Grand Summers. Hope you guys get the roles you want to get. Apart from that, though, guys, catch me on YouTube. Catch me on Discord. Catch me on Twitch every single day at 7 p.m. CST. Only day I don't stream is on Saturdays. Apart from that, though, guys, thank you all for coming out. And my guys, peace.